What's up, P-Timers? We've got a bunch of brand new premium Hot Wheels. Let's go ahead, unbox them, and get a close-up look at them. From the Circuit Legends series, the 2016 Ford GT Race. From the Open Track Series, the Nissan Skyline GTR R32. From the Circuit Legend Series, the Porsche 962. From the Golf Series, the McLaren F1 GTR. From the Hot Wheels 50th Favorite Series, the 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 Wagon. From the Retro Entertainment Series, the Doctor Strange Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. From the Speed Machine Series, the Audi R8. From the Open Track Series, the 2016 Mercedes AMG GT3. From the Circuit Legends Series, the 1969 Copo Corvette. From the Open Track Series, the Audi R8 LMS. Timers, Bill here from Peak Time Racing. I've got an empty Hot Wheels display. Let's go ahead and fill it with some Hot Wheels premium cars. First up is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus, and this is from the 2020 Hot Wheels Boulevard mix. It's white with the 277 on there. It's got a checkered roof on the top of it and some really good tampa work. And of course, real riders with a metal base as most of these cars are going to be. We'll put it up top right here. Let's go into car number two. The next car is the Porsche 962 from the Circuit Legend series. And this one has the Advan logoing on the side of it and some really cool tampa work and detail. I also like the mismatch wheels on there it's really true to what it is in real life it's a great looking car the Porsche 962 is the second spot on the rack right here and next up we do have the Mazda 787 B and this is a white car very very cool looking it is a team transport series car so it did come on the team transport series it does have a green big wing on the back of it also those cool mismatched wheels and as you can see the cool writing and stuff on the front of it a very very nice premium car which will sit nicely next to that porsche 962 next up we do have the bone shaker of course classic hot wheels car and this one is from the boulevard 2020 mix one and it's got those big real rider tires on there the nice big flame paint job on there chrome all around and that's going to go right up at the top on this row right here 
And next up is the Nissan Concept 2020 Vision GT. And this is from the Gran Turismo set. A very, very nice looking premium concept car. And we all truly wish that the next version of the Nissan GTR looks something similar to this because it's a really, really cool, neat looking casting. It's definitely a good one to collect. And that one's gonna go right up here on that row. Next up, we do have another silver car. It's the Aston Martin DB10. The James Bond edition car and it's from the 2019 retro entertainment set very very nice looking real riders with that metal base and it's one of the coolest looking design Aston Martins of all time I absolutely love this car we'll throw that right beside that Nissan 2020 vision concept car and next up we have a Porsche here we go a very very cool looking Porsche from the Forza set it is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS this one's in like almost looks like a Zamac edition car but it's not quite it's a very very similar paint job to it but it's a little bit more metallic to it good detail on the front and the nice little Porsche logo right there on the front as well and that big rear wing on the back with the Forza riding as you can see Forza Motorsports right there we'll throw that one up right on that side right there next up is another Porsche this one is a Momo edition it is the Porsche 935 from the Hot Wheels race day set. And as you can see, it's got the 78 on there. It's one of the coolest looking Porsche race car designs. I really like that long tail on the back with that wing on there that says Momo just down on it. A very, very cool red and yellow color scheme, the Momo colors. We'll throw that one right up on that side. And next up, another Porsche, and this time it's an RWB Porsche 930. And this is from a team transport. So it did come with a transport truck and and this is one of the coolest looking designs. RWB Porsches are becoming very, very popular. And it's so cool to see Hot Wheels come out with their own variation of it. Look at the exhaust on the back, that big rear wing, nice wide body if we look at it from the top. Such a cool looking Porsche. And that one's gonna go right up in this row right there. We've got another Porsche to follow. This time it is a Porsche 993 GT2 from the Eurospeed set. And this one's silver, it's got a black black hood on there cool looking design on there outlaw edition on there 993 you can see on the side with the little Porsche logo down below a nice wide wide body on there a nice big rear wing on there such a cool looking Porsche will go very very well beside that Porsche 930 and next up we do have a 1974 Porsche 914-5 from the race day set and this one's a really cool looking unique Porsche it's got the little roll bar in there you can see the outlaw logoing on there as well 914 the little Porsche logoing nice cool looking on the front as well just an all-around neat little car kind of a two-seater sports car Porsche race car and next up we do have a McLaren this time and this is the McLaren P1 from the cars and donuts set you guys know how much I'm a big McLaren fan I am this one's orange with some nice black tamp work on there and I just love the look of these tires on here they just look like really thick wide body tires on this McLaren P1. We'll throw that one just right up there so it gets a nice center row. And our next car is the Lamborghini Gallardo Super Legera. And this one is from the Fast and Furious Fast Imports set. And I really like this like pearlish yellow color that it's got. And there's that nice rear wing for the Super Legera. And as well as we got the Super Legera riding just down the side, you can see on the door right there, cool looking body kit. I love the Lamborghinis. We'll throw the Lamborghini right up on that side right there. And another Lamborghini, this time it's the Lamborghini Huracan, and this is a Marvel Doctor Strange from the 2019 Retro Entertainment set. And you can see it's a gray color with lots of sparkle in there and really cool looking five star chrome rims on there. Really, really neat. Good detail on the back of it. It's a neat looking color that like sparkly gray, that Doctor Strange edition. We'll throw that one just right up over there. And of course, we've got another Lamborghini. It is the Lamborghini Veneno, and this is from the Grand. Turismo set. Very, very cool looking yellow color on there with the number five on there. Blacked out wheels. Got the gold chrome lip on there. Just so many angles from the Lamborghini Veneno. It's one of the greatest Lamborghinis of all time. I really, really like the neat look of this one. We'll throw that one right up there in the center kind of. And then we've got the McLaren F1 GTR. And this is from the Gulf 
edition set. It is a very, very special golf edition set. And you can see the McLaren F1 logoing on the back right there. It's got a plastic wing. It's got really cool looking orange wheels to go with this golf edition. Great looking tamper work on the front end. You guys know how much of a McLaren fan I am. The McLaren F1 in real life is my favorite car of all time. We'll throw that one right up there. Next from the Euro Speed set is the BMW M1 Pro car. And you can see the cool looking design and graphics on this one. It's a Project Cars 2 car, gold mesh wheels on their big rear wing. Just an absolute beauty of a car. I love the black with the coloring on the front of it. Looks really, really nice. We'll throw that one just right up over here. And next up, we have got the Acura NSX. And this is from the Hot Wheels Race Day set. And just check out the body kit on this one. Advent sponsored edition car but just a crazy body kit for this race car. Big rear wing on there, like a scoop on the top of it as well. Look at all the logoing and stuff on this one. Just an absolute beauty with those wide tires on there as well. And we'll throw that one right up beside the M1 Pro car. And next up, we've got the Koenigsegg Agera R, the white edition. And this one's from the 2020 Hot Wheels Boulevard Mix Number no. 2. Just a very sought after casting for this year. So many people were looking forward to getting their hands on it, myself included. I just love the white color on here. Look at that red trim on the front. Great tampa work for those front headlights. Blacked out wheels, nice looking wheels nonetheless as well. And we'll throw that one just right up here. And then we've got another Koenigsegg to go, and it's a Koenigsegg Agera R as well. The same model, but a different color. And this was a need for speed from the retro entertainment set such a cool looking car this one in that nice looking kind of a reddish orange color and it's got black scooping on the side black wheels but these ones are different from the other agara and check out the nice tamp work on the front end of it as well that big spoiler on there such a fantastic looking real riders car to start off our bottom row, we've got the Audi R8 LMS, and this is from the Open Track series, and you can see the great looking white color tampa work on there, and just check out the detail on the front end of this one, as well as the side, those blacked out wheels look fantastic. Big rear spoiler on there, good tampa work for the lights, and cool looking red trim on the top of it. We'll start that one just right off right there. And a very similar car to that is the Audi R8 LMS, as well this one this time is from the euro speed set and similar markings but i think it's the color on this one just looks a little bit better i like the white with that red trim that kind of goes down the side as well as the black that comes out here in the hot wheels logo again fantastic detail on the front end of this one project cars 2 as you can see and even on that spoiler it's got nice color on there as well we'll throw that one right beside the audi r8 lms as well and next up another race car and this one's the ford gt race and this is from the circuit legends series and just check out the blue coloring on the front as well as the red on the back and this is the homage edition to the actual Le Mans winning car. Such a fantastic looking car. If you're a Ford GT fan, this is a must have. And check out the big rear, rear spoiler as well as that diffuser on there. Nice real rider tires on this one as well. We'll throw that one just right down there. And to finish off this side, we've got another Ford GT race. It is a team transport edition. So this did come with a team transport truck, but this one's white with red and green Castrol sponsored on there as well. Number 67 cool looking markings the same from the front end as well great looking work on this one and you can see even on the spoiler it's got that ford powered by ecoboost a nice touch to that one as well we'll throw that one just right there on this side and moving on to our right side now, we'll start it off with this Ford F-150 Lightning. And this one's from the Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle Set. It's just a very popular car for this set. And obviously this was featured in the first Fast and Furious movie. And you can see the great front headlights and detail on the front end of that one, as well as the rear and that little SVT Lightning logo. And we'll start this one right at the top, right on this side, right there. And next up to go right beside that one 
is the Chevy Silverado, and this is a Car Culture Trucks series. This one is yellow, all lowered out, blacked out wheels with the chrome lip, and check out the cool touch to this one. It's got a little sport bike just sitting in the back right there, all chromed out bed, chromed out interior. Just one of the coolest looking low rider trucks that I've ever seen. I really, really love this one. And we'll throw this one just right up there beside that SVT Lightning. Our next truck that's gonna go up on that row right there is the Mercedes G-Class. And this is from the Fast and Furious Off-Road set. And it's a very unique color to this one. And I really like the tire and wheel options on this one. Cool row bar. And you can see the nice little rear tire on there as well. Just a fantastic detailed car. It's kind of like a cabriolet version of this G550. Check out the front as well with that Mercedes logo. Very, very cool. I really, really like this one when it came out. We'll throw that one just right up there. And we've got another truck to go right beside it. And this one is the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. And this is from the Fast and Furious off-road set as well. And just check out the big panel work on this one. It's got those same really thick tires on there. Great detail on the front end. You can see that little Land Rover logoing on there as well. Just a really, really cool addition. It's a matte finish paint, but you can see that it's got kind of a glossy top. It's actually a plastic glossy top on there, so it's a little bit different. We'll throw that one just right up in the top corner right there. And starting off our next row is the Datsun 510, and this is from the Hot Wheels Door Slammers set. And this one's white with white wheels on there. You can see the 71 on the side. Some nice tampa work on there as well as on the hood. Good detail on the front end. If you're a Datsun fan, this is definitely one of the ones to own. We'll throw that one just on that row up there. Next up is one of my favorites. It's the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. And this is a team transport car. So it did come with a matching carrier on there. And it's just really a, such a cool classic car. And I really wish that this one had the opening gall wing doors. That would have been a nice touch to it, but that would just be an extra, extra detail. But nonetheless, this one all around, such a fantastic looking design, great detail on this one. We're gonna throw that one right beside the Datsun 510. And then now we've got a much newer car. It is the Nissan 180SX Type X. And this one's from the Street Tuner set. And this one, when it came out, was just a very popular car. You can see great tap work on the back, cool looking orange wheels and blacked out all in gloss. Great detail on the front end with those little pop-up headlights, kind of half up there. It's a really nice touch to this one. We'll throw that one right there. And another black Nissan to go with that one is the Nissan Skyline GTR. And this is the BN R32 from the Fast and Furious Fast Import set. And you can see how blacked out and glossy looking this one is. Nice tamp work on the back for those headlights and as well as great detail on the front. Even you can see the little intercooler right in there. A very, very neat touch to this one. I really like the wheels that go with this one as well. And we'll throw that one just right up on that side. Starting off our next row, we've got some more Nissans. We've got the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 from the Retro Entertainment set. And I'm in love with this color on this one. It looks fantastic on the Nissan GTR. You can just check out that front end. Great looking bodywork, great looking detail on there. The gray wheels that very much so match it. Nice big spoiler on this one. Now it's gonna go right on the center row. We'll throw it right up in there. And then we've got another Skyline. It is, again, a Nissan Skyline BNR34. This is from the Fast and Furious Fast Import set. This is just the classic Fast and Furious color for a Nissan Skyline. Silver, nice chrome wheels, and check out just that tamp work on the side right from the movie. It looks fantastic. Very, very clean looking from the top as well. Nice looking stripe that kind of fades right in and that colored spoiler on there as well. So we'll throw that one right beside the other Skyline GTR. And next up is the Nissan Skyline BCN R33. And this is from the 2020 Hot Wheels Boulevard Mix number one. And you can see this nice looking silver color. Look at the detail on the back with the Nismo license plate. We've got some cool looking graphics that run 
run down the side as well as on the front it's got some interesting graphics right there and we're gonna throw this one right beside those other GTRs and next up to go beside those GTRs we've got a Subaru it is the Subaru Impreza WRX and this is from the cars and donuts set and if you're in a Subaru WRX fan this is definitely one to get and you can see how nice this looks with those kind of bronzy goldish wheels on there which is really unique and there's that classic WRX type style front grille as well as the little intercooler you can see kind of mixed right into that front very very cool looking I absolutely love the color on that one and that's going to go right beside those GTRs and then probably one of the oldest cars that you're going to see here today uh, from Hot Wheels is this Dodge Viper GTS from the Mopar Performance Series and what's really unique about this Real Riders car is it does have an opening hood so there we go so we can see the little dodge viper v10 engine in there it's a very very unique that this real riders opens up and we don't see this one very often around anymore but i'm liking the detail on this one these wheels are really cool and then those real rider tires which are on there so we're going to go ahead and throw this one up right on that row across from the mclaren f1 gtr and after that one we've got the Pandem Subaru BRZ. This is a very, very unique Subaru BRZ with the Pandem wide body kit on there. And as you can see, look at the details and the wide body on there. And that wing looks a little bit bent. We can kind of straighten it out a little bit. Nice detail on the back for those real lights on there. And we can see on the front, all oh, the cool little intake and all that for the turbo for this car. Very, very nice. I'm really liking this Pandem wide body Subaru BRZ. And that one's gonna go right beside the Viper right there. Mazda RX-7 is next up in this gorgeous looking yellow color. This is from the Street Tuner set. It's got some gray wheels on there. Check out those gray wheels. Really, really nice looking. Definitely something that we don't see very often. Cool detail on the front for those tempo works. And it's got the pop-up headlights, so not much detail as far as the hood and lights go. But on the back, we can see nice looking for this Mazda RX-7. I'm a big fan of this model year of the RX-7s. Really, really cool looking. I loved it in the Fast and Furious movies as well. And we've got another Street Tuners up next. It is the Honda S2000. And this one with a very cool, unique body kit on here. Just check out that body kit on the front end, that front hood. And then on the front bottom and then the big rear spoiler as well as the hard top on there as well we don't see many of the convertible versions of the honda s2000 from hot wheels but i'm liking the hard top look it looks really really nice and look at the detail on the back end as well and we'll put those ones right there so we've got three street tuner cars and that's a great set obviously so we've got lots of those cars next up for the next row we've got the Buick Grand National GNX from the Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle Set. A very cool looking blacked out like 80s muscle car. Nice detail on the rear end right there. We've got the little Grand National logo on there. And this one's got the kind of wide body that the GNXs had as opposed to the regular Grand Nationals. Nice looking wheels on there as well. Check those out, all blacked out. Same ones from the movie and good detail on the front and the little Grand National logo right down there as well. A gorgeous looking, one of my favorite 80s cars. I love the Grand Nationals and the GNXs. To follow that one, we've got a Mustang. It's the Mustang Boss 302, and this is a team transport car, so it came with a team transport truck, but this one in this blue looking color, and check it out, nice looking fat tires on there. It's got that nice little racing front diffuser on there as well, the Boss 302 logoing on there, as well as we got that white on the hood for the striping. It doesn't continue right to the back, it's just kind of clean on the top, the little spoiler, and then check out the lights on the rear as well. A very, very cool looking muscle car. Car. We'll throw that beside the 80s muscle car right down there. We got another muscle car as well, and this one is the 1977. Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, and this one's from the Hot Wheels Quarter Mile Muscle Set. And the very unique thing about this car is the paint on the hood. Just like real life, check out that Firebird on the hood. Just looks beautiful. And then it kind of meshes into the front. You can see the gold trim just around the front headlights. Good detail for the headlights as well. So all around, just a very, very well-designed car. And the T-tops on there as well, and nice paintwork. We also got the little logo just on the side right there of that Firebird. Very, very cool. I absolutely love this car. I think it's a great looking 
piece to add to my wall right back there. And then we've got a Nissan Fairlady Z, and this is also from a Team Transport series. So it came with a Team Transport truck, and you can see this one's like lowered with a wide body on there. Very thick looking tires you can see. And then we look on the back and it's got kind of that like ducktail spoiler on there and check out the graphics on the side of it gts2 i'm not sure exactly what that means or what it stands for if you know let me know in the comment section down below number 23 but i think it's a really cool looking car so we're going to go ahead and throw that one just right behind there to join those muscle cars on that row and next up we do have another muscle car but this one is just very unique and different it's the 1967 off-road camaro it's from the fast and furious off-road set and obviously the big difference on this one is just look at it looks like it's raised up and then just look at those fat tires on there very cool very unique it's got a push bar on the front end you can kind of see it right there and then we've got nice striping down there and then we've got this kind of like this thing from the fast and furious they had this little window and stuff right there this was in that the one of the movies i can't remember but it was just racing down to the desert and it just it looked really really cool i liked it it was a very unique looking muscle car and that's going to go ahead and start our last last row right down there and then next up we've got another Camaro and this is the 1967 Camaro from the 2020 Boulevard Mix 1 and this one does have an opening hood so that's very unique we don't see that very often only one of two cars here that we can see with the opening hood it followed with that Viper and this is a really cool paint job on there I'm liking that sparkly flame paint job on there as well as we look on the front, we can see that striping down there, the little Camaro logo, and then good, nice big wheels and tires on the back, and the small ones on the front, nice detail on the back end as well. It's a very clean looking car, and that's what I like. A lot of the Hot Wheels cars that come out with just have too much stuff all around, but this one is just a very nice looking clean design. I really like that one. And next up, we do have one that does have a lot of stuff speaking all around it, but I really like this one. This was the Mercedes 190E from the Eurospeed set and this one is has the project cars 2 sponsorship on there the hot wheels logo on the back and look at the colored tail lights on the back which is really really neat touch and then we can see all the graphics the project cars 2 that goes down and then the, all the colors that match with the hot wheels logo on there mercedes 190e a very very cool looking neat car and to finish off our display our wall car number 48 it is the 1970 plymouth superbird and this is a team transport set and as you can see it's got the 76 on there and this one is just looks so cool it just really reminds me of the Cars movie. Obviously we've got the big rear wing on this Superbird and check out all the cool graphics that go down the side. It almost looks like the golf livery colors on there but it is a Uniden car or Union car but I just really really like these Superbirds. I love how they did these with the rear wings on there. The Daytona 500s they had the similar ones just like that but cool looking. I like the letters on the wheels and tires. Just an absolutely gorgeous looking car and that's going to go just right in there and our last two cars don't quite fit on our display but we'll still go over them this is the Hummer H1 it's from the Fast and Furious off-road set and I'm a big fan of these Hummers I really like them they were originally military vehicles and then they came out with the civilian versions but I just think they look really cool I mean the scale of this car it's maybe not totally proportionate to what it is in real life because these are super big and super wide looking you can see the the detail on the back of it which looks really really cool and this color is really really neat it does match this style of Hummer and our very last car which I had to include in my top 50 is this 1983 Chevy Silverado pickup truck and this one is just super cool I really like the color I like the raised look this is from the 2020 Boulevard mix number one it's a good looking blue color it's a little bit glossy and then it's got the white bottom and then just like a lot of the 80s cars that had like the little logo right there and it just kind of looks like a different color it's really it's a really interesting neat little car I really like it though let me know what you you guys think of this one as well all right guys that's gonna wrap up my top 50 hot wheels real rider premium cars let me know in the comment section down below which was your favorite one that we went over timers today we've got the brand new fast and furious off-road set we've got five cars in the set let's go ahead open them up and get a close-up look at them and here we are with car number one we've got the subaru impreza 
WRX STI. Check out the livery on this one. Looks amazing. And there is your artwork on there. And it's one of five from the Furious Off-Road as it specifies. This is a Hot Wheels premium set. And on the back, we'll look at this card so we can see all the different cars that are included with this set. But let's go ahead and unbox the Impreza WRX STI. We can get a nice close up look at this one. And obviously the one that I've been talking about with the livery on here that looks really, really cool. The speckle paint job on there as well. Nice blackened front end on it. The real rider tires on there. Great all around premium casting of the Subaru WRX STI. And moving on to car number two of five from this set, it's the 1991 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. You guys know how much I love Mercedes, especially these G-Class. Check out the artwork on there. Looks really neat. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and we can get a look at this one. I believe this one has like a matte finish paint job on there. It is. It's a very matte finish. Um, it's hard to tell. What is it like a kind of a greenish color? Nice big real riders on there. I like these like thick tires on there. Those look really, really neat. Add the to the touch of it. And there we go. We got the Mercedes Benz logo on the front. Good detail on the front of it. We move around to the back. We've got the even the little Mercedes Benz all written just right there on the spare tire on there. Really nice detail for this one. I really, really like this one. And car number three of five from the set is the Land Rover Defender 110 Hardtop. We've seen a lot of different Land Rovers come out from Hot Wheels lately, and this is definitely not a disappointment. This one is fantastic looking. Let's go ahead and take this one out and get a close up look at it as well. And this one, it also kind of has like a little bit of a matte finish on the side of it, but then it's got a nice glossy roof and it's actually a plastic roof on there, which is kind of interesting. We'll look to the back. I like the detail, very, very nice. Even the little details right there, the Land Rover from the side. And also this one has the nice, really big, thick tires on there, just like the G-Class had as well. Land Rover written on there, great detail on the front. These premium cars are just becoming just better and better each time they come out with these new sets of them. This one just looks great. And we move on to car number four of five. It is the 67 Off-Road Camaro. This looks like a jacked up raised Camaro with kind of the push bar on the front and back. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Get a look at this one here. And this one is featured in a silver color. It's a nice looking silver color, very very, not really sparkly or anything, but just kind of glossy looking. And there's that push bar on the back of it. Look at those big thick tires on there as well for off-roading. And in the front, we've got that cowl hood right there. And we've got the push bar on the front end as well. It's a very, very hardcore looking one. And even it's got this, uh, I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think that was like, was this not the window maybe for them to stand out of and shoot out of in the movie? Possibly. Correct me in the comments about that one, guys. But this one looks great. I like the Camaro as well. And last but definitely not least, we've got the Hummer H1. And I was a big Hummer H1 fan growing up. This one looks great. We've seen a lot of different Hummer H1 castings made by Hot Wheels. And uh, this might be one of the first premium ones. I'm not, can't really remember any premium castings before. It's kind of got that military-esque look to it. It's a little bit matte finish paint job on there. The big thick tires on there to go as most of these ones did have. We've got the Hummer on the back, nice detail on the back, the lights and all that. And on the front, we've got the big push bar on there as well. And check it out, wow, great detail. Love, love, love this one. Looks fantastic, Hummer H1. What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're getting a close-up look at the Hot Wheels Car Culture Cars and Donuts Premium 5 Car Set. Let's go ahead, open them on up, and then we'll head on over to the track to find out which one is the fastest. guys, here it is, the Cars and Donuts set, the Car Culture Series. We'll start off with the first car, which is the McLaren P1. It's gotta be my favorite car in this set. I'm a big McLaren fan. So there it is, and let's go ahead and open this one up. But 
first, let's check out the back. So you can see all five cars included on the back. And it's definitely a little bit more premium cardboard feel to this one as well. So let's go ahead and open it. And this one is the first McLaren P1 that I've seen with real riders, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead, open this up and check this out. I love the detail of it. So this one is black and it's got, there it is, those real rider tires on there. And check out the orange color. Wow, I love the look of that from the front right there. I love all the slots and stuff. This P1 has definitely been one of the most popular castings by McLaren and by Hot Wheels together. So obviously I'm a big McLaren fan. You know the McLaren F1, my favorite car, P1. Obviously it is up there as well. Great looking casting, great looking car. We'll go ahead and put that down and let's go on to the next one, car number two of five. And this is the custom Datsun 2. 240Z and it is a nice white colored variation with the black wheels on there. Cool artwork on it. There you go. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And check this out. And this white is not a standard white. It is more of a pearly white. It's kind of hard to see in the actual camera, but it's definitely a more premium paint job to it. You can see the nice writing on the back and check out how like wide bodied it is. Even if you look at that view from the top, you can kind of see the, the wide body variation of it. And I like these wheels and tires on there. Nice all metal base on it. Definitely a really, really cool casting. There it is from the top, the front. Great looking car. Definitely a good one. If you're a JDM fan, that's a good one to have. And next up, we have got the Alfa Romeo Ghia Sprint GTA. Um, I don't know a lot of information of this car in real life, but it is a cool looking casting, cool artwork of it right there as well. So let's go ahead and open it up. And this one, it's obviously got these cool tires and definitely awesome looking wheels on it. Those are definitely some cool wheels you don't see very often on Hot Wheels cars. Nice silver glossy paint to it. The number two on there, Alfa Romeo. This one covers all the globe as well. So if you're a English car fan, Italian car fan, a, a Japanese car fan, anything, it, this set has it all. So this is obviously the Italian car. And then next up, we will go to the German car of this set. It is the BMW M1 Pro car. And this was a definitely one of the ones I was looking forward to from this set as well. There's that cool artwork on there. So let's go ahead and open this one up. And while I'm opening this one up, guys, throw some comments down below and let me know which one you think is going to be the fastest. Uh, we're gonna head on over to the track once I've done showing you guys these. So I wanna know which one you guys think is gonna win the race between these. There it is, 79. And I'm assuming 79 for the year of this car. And there is the nice front of it. The M1, a very popular car back in the day. A good, nice race car to it and some cool looking wheels, tires, and the Tampo, the, the BMW coloring on it, and that big rear wing on there. And I'm really hoping that BMW comes out with a, another quote unquote supercar or hypercar sometime soon. They've got the i8, but it's not really on the same lines as the M1 is. So there's some rumors that they might be coming out with another one in real life. So hopefully we'll see that in a Hot Wheels casting format sometime down the line. Obviously all metal base as all of these ones are. And actually I didn't check the P1. The P1 uh, looks like it is a metal base to it. It's kind of the flat metal base to it. So put that down. All right, last but not least, it is the Subaru Impreza WRX. The nice looking Subaru car, the classic blue, and it's got those gold wheels. Cool artwork on there, cars and donuts, car culture. All right, let's go ahead and open this one up. Car number five of five. And great detail to these whole set as well. This one does look a little bit pearly. It's like a pearly blue color. You can kind of see a bit of sparkle. And the wheels are not as gold as I would have liked them to be. It's kind of a darker gold to it, but still very cool. Real rider tires, obviously, as all of these ones have. So they're not gonna be the fastest down the track. Hopefully they all make it to the finish line on the extended six lane raceway, but we'll find out in a bit. Great detail to this one, there it is from the back right there. And the side of it as well. 
And if you're looking to pick up this set, definitely check out online. I'll, I'll post a couple links in the description below if you guys wanna pick this set up. I got these ones from Toys R Us, but I think you can get them on Amazon, eBay, and all that as well. So I'll post a link down below for you guys if you guys wanna pick up this five car set. All right, so I'll put that card down. We're gonna go ahead and I will show you guys all of these cars up close and personal. Guys, we're on the track. We've got the Cars and Donuts set all lined up, ready to go. They've been randomized in the lane, so let's do a best of three to find out which one's the fastest. First car to win two races is our winner, and then after that, just for fun, we'll do a backwards race. Here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set. The Subaru WRX takes the win in race number one. Let's see if the Subaru can finish them off in race number two, or will we get a different winner? Here we go, race number two. On your mark, get set, go. And the McLaren P1 takes the win in race number two. Therefore, it's still anyone's game. The Subaru or the McLaren can finish it off in race three, or will we get a different winner? Let's find out. Race number three, on your mark, get set. A super close photo finish, but the Subaru WRX takes the win and is our Cars and Donuts champion. But we're gonna do some backwards racing now. Let's find out which car is our backwards champion for the Cars and Donuts series. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go! What's up, Peak Timers? This is the brand new Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious Quarter Mile Muscle Set. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at them and then of course, we'll race them down the quarter mile. Our first car is the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. And we'll go ahead and first get a look at the back of the card right here. This is the Chevelle SS and these are the rest of the cars that are included. There's only five cars for this set and they are a premium casting so they will all have real riders on them and they're a little bit heavier, they're a full metal body. So here it is, the Chevelle SS. Let's go ahead and pop it open off the card right here. And there it is. So more premium paint job on here as well as got that metal base on there and there is your real riders on there as well. But this one looks fantastic. Those kind of torque thrust wheels on it, they look great. Great tampa work on the back. The front, great, great detail. So these premium cars will run you approximately five to six dollars in any US store. But I think this one looks fantastic. A great start to this set. And car number two is also a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. This one obviously in a different color because there was two different colored variation ones in the movies. This one is more of like a matte finish gray on there. Let's go ahead and pop it open and get a close up look at it. And yes, this one's definitely a more matte finish compared to the glossy red finish that we saw in the previous one. And you can see it's just a really good high quality paint job on here. 
those nice wheels. I love these wheels. They just look so good on muscle cars. And there it is from the back. Got a little bit of tempo detail on there as well. And then from the front, great detail for it. You can tell these are definitely worth it. They're a higher quality car than your mainline Hot Wheels. And car number three of five, one of my favorites from this set, is the 1977 Pontiac Firebird TA, which stands for Trans Am, of course. There it is. It looks like the Smokey and the Bandit car, if you guys are familiar with that one. Let's go ahead and pop it open. I love the detail on this. Check out that big Trans Am symbol on the hood right there. Great looking headlights and stuff from the front. Also from the side, very glossy. This one does have the T-tops, which is very, very traditional for these types of cars. And check out the wheels and tires on there. Great looking wheels on there from the back. Nice tamper work. I'm very, very impressed with this set so far. It's a very highly detailed set. Great looking from the bottom. There's those tires as well. Metal base, of course. And car number four of five, the 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Very, very cool looking in that nice orange color. Check out the artwork on there, great looking. All right, let's open it up. And this one does sound like it's got the opening hood on there, so let's go ahead and pop that hood open right away. There it is, there's that nice big engine sitting in there. A nice little touch of detail for this one. And then we've got the nice stripe on the front right there. And from the side, check it out. Just looks like an absolute beast of a car. Got the cool wheels on there. The Camaro logo right down there. Good detail on the back of it. And then on the front of it as well. A little bit base for the front. It's kind of flat in this area right here. But that's uh, typical of the movie car. So they probably did that on purpose. There's your real rider tires on there as well. Full metal base. And car number five of five, the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. My personal favorite from the set. I just love the Boss Mustangs. And there it is in the white colored variation. Let's go ahead and pop it open right away. And this one I can already tell has some great detail from the side of it, all white. So it kind of just blends all in nicely. But then we get to the front of it. Check out the detail of those lights right there. Isn't that awesome? Then we got the nice painted stripe on the front of it. We move to the back. We've got that cool looking spoiler and then the great Mustang lights in the back. Good, good detail for it. And check out the small wheels and tires, but that's just how the car is supposed to be. The real riders, of course, full metal base, a fantastic looking casting. And there is all five cars from the set. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite and also comment which one do you think is gonna win the quarter mile drag race on the track. I'll see you guys at the track. And here we are guys on the track. We've got the fast and furious quarter mile muscle cars all set up and ready to go. Who do you think is gonna take this one on the track? We'll do a best of three. First car to win two races gets the win. On your mark, get set, go! And in race number one, it is the Ford Mustang Boss 302 that gets the win. We'll see if he can finish them off right now or will we get a different winner. Here we go, race number two. On your mark, get set, go! What a great race for race number two. It is the Pontiac Firebird that just edges out the Mustang. It looked like the Mustang was gonna win, the but Firebird came back and took the win. Here we go, race number three. Will the Firebird or the Mustang get a win or will we get a different winner for our final deciding race? Let's find out right now. On your mark, get set, go. The 
Hot Wheels Forza Motorsports 5 car premium set. I finally have it in hand. Let's go ahead, open this up, take a closer look at all the cool looking cars inside, and then we will head to the track and race them to find out which one's the fastest. guys here it is the five car Forza Motorsports Premium Set. And one thing that I didn't really notice when I looked at pictures of this online, this box is a lot smaller than what it looks like online. So you can see my hands here as I hold it. I mean, it's no bigger than my hand. I'll even compare it to a Hot Wheels car. There it is, so a standard Hot Wheels car is actually longer than the actual box of this. So it looks like in pictures that it's like a huge box, but it's not really, but that doesn't matter. This is still the coolest looking picture on a Hot Wheels box that I've ever seen. Check out that sweet looking Ford GT race. Let's first take a look at the cars that are included on the back right here. There they all are. Some great cars in this set. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife here to cut. You wanna be careful with that. All right, we'll open it up. And it's kind of like they've got them slightly hidden. We got some tissue paper there. And we'll take out uh, one car one by one. And actually, I'll move the box to the side so that we can take a closer look at each car one by one. So car number one of five right here is this one right here. It's the Porsche 356 Speedster, one of five. And we'll look on the back as well so it does show all the actual cars that are included as well i'll just show you that one so let's go ahead and open it up and this obviously being premium car so we got the real riders we got metal finish to them they're probably gonna have some weight to it so let's go ahead and open up the porsche and we'll throw the packaging down and there it is this nice looking porsche speedster blue got the forza motorsports 3 logo on the side check that out from the front some nice detail to it all the way around great looking car and if you're a Porsche Speedster fan this is definitely the one to have and on the bottom like I said all metal finish and we've got these real rider tires and these are thick real rider tires on this one I don't know if they're going to be like that on all of them great looking car though all right let's put that down we'll go to the next car included and that's car number two of five and it's the 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. Some great artwork, some great detail to this one. And we'll get a little, a little bit of a close up of what it looks like in the actual packaging there. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. And some nice packaging to this as well. Throw that aside and there's the actual car itself. And look, I love the, the actual writing of the, the white Goodyear writing on the tires. That's a cool touch to it. And great detail to these wheels. Some nice tampo all around it on the side. And check out that logo right on the front too. That's kind of cool how it's, the double logo creates the effect of kind of like an arrow pointing. Great touch to it. Great detail to the front of this car as well. And on the side, check out the detail of it from the side as well. Nice looking car, gorgeous looking car, all the way around. Love this one so much. Wow, the white looks great on BMWs, especially with all the tampo and artwork. All right, we'll put that BMW down there and we'll go on to, oh, this is car number five. So I'll actually find car number three and we'll go right in order here. So we'll move the Pagani Huayra to the side. Car number three is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. There it is. And this one looks like it's got like a Zaymac finish to it. Probably not the actual one, but let's go ahead and open it up. And there it is, and definitely weighted compared to the other Porsche 911 GT3s that I have of this. And there it is, wow, look at the cool, It's it does feel like a Zamac finish to it, but then we've got the actual painted top, and uh, we've got the nice logo right on the side there. Definitely the, the thicker tires on there. It's cool red base and it's all metal as well. And these tires have tread on them. I think the other ones were more slicks. Great looking finish to it, great touch. Silver always brings out the best lines in a car in my opinion. 
and great touch to it with that top end. What is this right on the there? Forza Motorsports, you can see it really nice and close up there. Great looking Porsche. Awesome, and that will match the Porsche Speedster, I guess. All right, we'll put that aside, and uh, car number four of the five cars. This one obviously being the highlight car of this actual set and definitely my favorite car in this set. It's the 2016 Ford GT Race and that awesome new color and that's the same picture that you see on the actual packaging of the box. So let's go ahead and open this one. And that's nicely set in there. And we'll take that out and there it is, wow. Gorgeous looking, love this one. Love this one, love the white on there. Ford, we've got the nice logos on the front. Xbox One, the Xbox One coloring. Then we've got the Forza logo, the Ford on the side of it there. There's a great profile look of it. And that nice big spoiler, that diffuser there. And this one, uh, it is metal, I guess on the bottom. It's kind of like a flat metal finish to it slightly different and you can see the tread on the actual tires. This one doesn't have the actual full slicks, but there it is. Oh, even from the top, that's a great view of it right there. Ford performance right on the top right there. You can see as well, Xbox One. Ford GT Race, wow, great car. Definitely the highlight car of this, and this one is so cool. It's gonna join all my other Ford GT races. I think there's like three other colors I've got of this car now as well. All right, we'll put that one down. And car number five of five is the Pagani Waira. There it is, and the Pagani Waira. There's so many different color variations of the Pagani Waira that Hot Wheels has made. They're definitely a popular casting for them, the one they love to make, but this one is the premium casting, premium wheels, premium tires, and that is one of the nicest looking pictures of it right there on the actual box. That artwork is great. All right, let's go ahead and open this one up. Premium, premium, premium. All right, great color to this one. It's kind of, uh, I don't know what you would call this color. It's almost like a tangerine maybe color. It's hard to say, it's hard to tell. You guys let me know what you guys think of the color of it. But uh, there's the Forza Motorsports logos to the side of it. Some cool looking wheels. Check out those wheels. Those are definitely different wheels. And this one also has kind of a flat finish metal base to it. And the tires actually have tread on them. You can see that there, but we'll see it from the the front, the detail of it, and from the side of it there, some great detail to it. I like that kind of black top on there that kind of meshes in. And there we go on the back, you can see the Pagani Waira logo and the Pagani on there. Great finish to it, great looking car. Definitely a popular car, like I said, for Hot Wheels to make. All right, let's get a closer look at all five cars together and then we'll head on over to the track and we'll find out which one's the fastest. As we're at the track, we've got the Forza cars all lined up, ready to go. Best of three, and we've got the GoPro Hero 5 session all there to catch the action up close. Here we go, race number one, on your mark, get set, go! Well, it's the GoPro that's clearly faster, but the BMW takes race number one. So we are going on to race number two. Can the BMW finish them all off in race two, or will we get a different winner? Here we go, race number two, on your mark, get set, go. BMW takes the win and is clearly the fastest car out of the bunch, but let's do a backwards race just for the fun of it to see which one's faster backwards. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go! And back. 
backwards, the BMW takes the win and is the fastest car from this sweet looking Forza Motorsports 5 car premium set. What's up, P-Timers? This is the Forza Motorsports premium Hot Wheels 5 car set. We're gonna open it up, unbox it, and take a closer look at them today. And if you guys wanna get yourself your own Hot Wheels Forza Motorsports set, as well as a bunch of other amazing cars, make sure you check out Grana Toys. Grana Toys is the one who sent me all these cars, and it's where I get most of my Hot Wheels cars from. So check out granatoys.com as well as their eBay account. I will link them both in the description box below. All right, let's get started with the Morris Mini car number one of five. Check it out right there. Beautiful artwork on all of these cars. Check that out. You can see it kind of on the little racetrack there. And this one does have these five cars, which you see behind there, but I'll show them on the back of this package just for your reference. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Number one of five, the Morris Mini. And these ones are all premium cars, so they're a little bit heavier, as well as they do have the real riders on them. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the Morris Mini. You can check out the wheels on them. Definitely different wheels. We haven't seen these ones before. Actually, all of them have some pretty special wheels. We'll get a closer look at each one of them. So check out the back. GB Great Britain, of course. The number 01 on this one. And check out the Forza Motorsports logo on the top right there. Very nice. Very, very detailed compared to the mainline series. Great tampa work on the front of it. It's even got the little popped out engine on the hood right there. So great looking car. All right, we'll throw ahead and throw that one down. Let's go ahead to car number two. Car number two, the AMC Rebel Machine. Ooh, this thing is very beastly. Got big fat tires in the back. Check it out, that artwork. Great looking artwork. Wow, crazy, crazy. Love this one. All right, let's pop it open. And there it is. And you can notice the weight, definitely heavier premium cars, like I said, but check it out. Check out these big fat tires in the back. There are big slicks on there as well. Forza Motorsports, it says on the side. Nice cowl hood induction. Great tampa work on the front of it as well. Check it out from the side. Great looking car. Very, very, very cool. I love the Goodyear stamped tires on there as well. The big ones on the back, small ones in the front. And like I said, these ones do have these different wheels on there as all of them do. All right, we'll throw that one down. And next up, we've got the, uh, actually, this is car number four. We'll go at, you know what, let's just stick with it. We'll do it out of order. Why not? Nissan Silvia S15. This is probably one of the more popular ones in this set. Car number four of five. Let's go ahead and pop that open. Actually, here you can see the artwork on there. Yes, yes, we know the artwork's awesome. Like I said, on all of them. All right, let's go ahead and open this one up. There we go. Oh, this one is so cool. Love the blue with the colored wheels on there. That looks so nice. Check out the Forza logo on the front. Look at the tampo work on the front end as well. So detailed. These are very, very highly detailed. Even on the back, got the exhaust coming out on it as well. The nice colored spoiler on there. It's kind of a matte finish black on the spoiler. And great detail work on the side. You can see the Forza Motorsports logo all kind of mixed right in there, as well as a little Xbox logo down there. This one is very good, very, very nicely detailed. Okay, we'll put that one down. We'll go to car number three now, which is the BMW 2002. Check it out. Great looking, awesome, awesome. Super stoked for the set. I've been waiting for this set for a while, so I'm so happy to finally have it in hand to show you guys, and there it is. We've got the Goodyear tires on that one as well. Check out all the logos on the side, the Xbox. We've got the Forza Motorsports, the nice Forza Motorsports logo on the front right there, and same, very, very detailed all around the car. This is what you get with premium sets. This is what makes these premium sets stand apart from the mainline series. They're just so much more detailed with the tampa work, with the paint, with the wheels that you can see on there. Those are different wheels we haven't seen before. So cool, very nice. All right, we'll put that one down. And last, but definitely not least, probably one of your guys' favorites. It's definitely my favorite of the set, the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and pop this one open. And this one we can take a closer look at. And this one's got all sorts of color on it. So it's got the, the black on there, the green, the white on it. We've got the nice slicked tires on there, the mesh looking wheels, the Forza Motorsports logo nicely mixed in to that as well. And on the front, very cool. 
Oh yes, and even we've got the tamper work on the lights as well. I don't think we have that on the, the standard ones. I don't know if they actually put that effort into the tamper work on the standard ones, but this one just looks so good. So, so good. Wow, look at that from the back as well. The tamper work on the lights, Forza Motorsports. We can even get the, the detailed engine on there. This is such a great casting. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at all five of these cars side by side. And here they are guys, all five cars from the Forza Motorsports Premium Hot Wheels set. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these cars did you like best. Bye. What's up P-Timers? Today we're getting a close up look and unboxing of the Premium Hot Wheels Car Culture Golf Set. This set includes one of my favorite cars of all time. You guys know what it is just by looking at this set. But before we open it up and get started, huge shout out to Granite Toys for providing this set. I will link them in the description down below. If you want to get this set for yourself, make sure you go check out those links at Granite Toys. And let's go ahead and pop this set open. We got cars number one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, number five, the McLaren F1 GTR. But well, let's open them in order. First up, the Fiat 500 Modificado, 1960s variation golf set. Check out that big golf on there. Oh, I love it. I love all the golf series cars. And there we go. If we want to see the back of the packaging of this one, we can see all the cool cars that are in here. And mine is obviously the favorite, the McLaren F1 GTR, but they do have some really good other cars in here. Most people are collecting the Nissan Laurel and the Mustang, and even the Volkswagen Golf MK7. Uh, I don't know about the Fiat, maybe, maybe the Fiat. Let's have a look at the Fiat though. Let's go ahead and pop it open here and see what the Fiat looks like. There we go, Fiat 500 Modifico. I don't know how to say it, but there it is, there it is, there it is. Very cool, very cool, check it out. Real riders, all these castings have metal bottom. This one's got the slick real riders on there, the number five, that really weird big like kind of spoilers type hood thing, I don't know what it is, but still not bad, not my favorite obviously of this set. Let's go into car number two. Car number two is the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Yes, yes, I really like this one. This probably be my second favorite car in this set. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. There we go, there we go. Oh yes, check this one out. So this one does have uh, these really, really nice wheels on there. Check out those wheels, just beautiful. Perfect for it. Obviously we've got the golf livery on there. We've got the real riders on there, metal bottom on this one as well. Beautiful looking casting. And obviously car culture ones are all a bit heavier. They've got more detail on there. And oh, 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 I thought it was gonna be an air, but it wasn't, it was just a piece of dust or something like that on there. But gorgeous, love this one, love this one. Like I said, my second favorite casting in this set, let's go on to the Nissan Laurel, which people are going crazy for. Obviously being a JDM car, people loving the Nissans. So there it is, there it is. I don't know what the big fuss is about all these car culture type JDM vehicles, but you know what? There's the fan out there for them. And I respect that because they're car fans. So, you know, gotta love it, gotta love it. There it is, there it is. Small wheels on here, very, very tiny wheels. I mean, they're basically the same wheels as this, are they? Yeah, pretty much, except these ones have the chrome lip on them. But uh, this is pretty cool. It, it's very Mustang-ish as well. I mean, it's almost, if we compare the Mustang side by side, it's kind of got similar lines to the Mustang. Uh, let's check out the front of it as well. Great detail work on it. Very, very nice. All right, check out the back as well. It says Laurel and everything. Got the stripe and obviously the golf on there. All right, all right, let's move on to car number Four of five, the Volkswagen Golf MK7 Golf and Golf. Spelled differently, different different meanings, different, different car. All right, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. Let's open this up. The MK7, there it is. Car number says two on there. I don't know why they would put two. They should have made it number four since it's car number four of the set. Uh, there it is on the front. Great, great looking tampa work on there. Gorgeous detail. It's got the, the mesh wire wheels on there, and it's got the real riders, of course, on there as well. And again, great detail on the back of it. Wow, like this one. Actually, I like this one a lot better now that I've opened it up. So now I can see if you're a collector, this is a good one. Definitely the one to have. All right, all right, definitely my favorite. And I have 
love collecting all the McLaren F1s. I've got a bunch of different color variations. I think I might be only missing one after this one. So I'll have to pick that one up. But obviously this one, the first one with real riders. All the other ones have not had real riders. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's open it up. Yes, yes, yes. Right, there it is. Oh yes, I like it, I like it. Look at that, the color of it is beautiful. The color looks so much better now that we've taken it out of the package. Get all of that dust off of there and check out those real riders with the tread on it. Very, very nice. We got the plastic spoiler. Again, I don't know why they first re-released this casting with a metal spoiler, the black variation, and then they've released two other colors after that, the white and the yellow one, and they are plastic with the spoiler. And this one comes in the plastic as well. So it's, they only made the one metal variation. So get the black one if you want the metal rear wing, but otherwise it doesn't really matter. This one is beautiful. And I'm gonna pair this with all my other McLaren F1 GTRs from Hot Wheels. Got a big set collection of them, but let me know in the comments down below, which is your favorite car out of the five that are included? I know you guys don't have to ask me again. The McLaren F1, definitely my favorite, but I actually was impressed with the MK7. I love the Boss 302. And for your Nissan fans, we've got that right there. And of course, if you're a Fiat 500 fan, there's your Fiat 500. Comment down below which one you guys like the best. Make sure you smash that. Wheels, Koenigsegg Agera R. Finally back to the Hot Wheels lineup. It's come out as a Hot Wheels premium model from the Hot Wheels Boulevard series. And here we have it in a beautiful looking white color. And there is our Koenigsegg Agera R or Agera R, however way you wanna pronounce it. But we have it in hand and we're gonna open it on up today. We're gonna to get a close up look at it. First, we're gonna do a slight comparison to the original release of the Hot Wheels Koenigsegg Agera R. It came as a premium one as well from the Need for Speed series. And there it is in that red color with the blacked out wheels. It looks very, very nice as well. The castings are very much the same, just recolored, but it was such a good popular casting and people wanted it back for so long and we're so lucky to finally have it. I do have some loose ones of the red one opened up that we'll get to take a look at in a second and do a comparison. But first off, let's go ahead and just pop open this one right here. If we look in the back first quickly, we can see all the different cars that are included in this Hot Wheels Boulevard set. I didn't purchase all of these other cars because honestly, this is, this is the, the main show right there. We just want that Koenigsegg. So that's the only one that I picked up. So let's go ahead and open it on up and get a close up look at it. Here we go. In hand for the very first time. White Koenigsegg Ajera R and you can see those beautiful looking blacked out wheels on there. And then we go look around the top. Great detail from that front end. You can see those nice headlights on there. We can see that kind of cool pinstriping that they've got down there as well. And then we've got the classic Koenigsegg Ghost. And there's a big backstory to that as far as like airplanes back in the old days in which Koenigsegg decided to use that logo on all of their cars. So all of the cars, all of the Koenigsegg cars released have that ghost on there. And it's nice that Hot Wheels put that little touch on there as well. And there we have that nice back end as well. Great detail for the lights and all. And let's go ahead and grab the other Koenigsegg, our loose one. This is our Need for Speed variation. I've got that one loose as well. And we can get a nice comparison of both of those. So we can see the color difference. The striping on the front of it is different. As far as the front headlights go, very, very similar. Both very nicely detailed. We'll switch it on over to the back as well. And very, very similar. We get the license plate marking on the Need for Speed one. Nothing for a license plate on the newer one. But indeed, a fantastic casting. And this one is getting bought up like crazy. I'll be honest, I purchased this one on eBay just because I was not able to go into stores and pick it up just because of the whole situation going on in the world right now. But that's okay. I got it for a good price. I'm very, very happy with it. And I'm definitely going to put it on display. One thing to note, if we look at the bottom, this one does say Koenigsegg Agera R. This one right here does say, if we have a close up look at it, it also does say Koenigsegg Agera R on there, but they did make a mistake on the first release of it. 
can see I do have two of these plus the new one. Uh, we, we've got this one that does say Koenigsegg CCX. You can see it right there. So they kind of made a mistake. Then they re-released it, corrected it, um, but the new one does have it corrected on there as well. There's no mistakes on this one. Koenigsegg Azure R in white. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what do you think of the new Koenigsegg Azure R? Are you a big fan of it? Are you gonna try and collect it? What's up, B-Timers? Today we're looking at a very cool Street Fighter Premium Hot Wheels set. We've got five cars. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at each one of them. Big shout out and thank you to Granite Toys for sending out this five car premium set. Make sure you check out GraniteToys.com if you want to get your own Hot Wheels and cases. And they have a ton of amazing cars and collector stuff. So check them out. I'll link them in the description box below. All right, guys, we'll start it off with our first one. And our first one does have, it looks like Ryu and Ken on the actual cart art and there is the actual car right there with looks like Ryu on there. The car itself is a Ford Transit super van. Let's have a look at the back. It does tell us all the different castings included and I'm interested to know if Ken is on the other side of this vehicle. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it is a premium car, so it's gonna be a little bit heavier. It's gonna have the real riders on there and very, very nice. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Boom, there it is, there's Ken on there. So we do get Ken on the other side. So that's really cool to know that we have two characters on each, obviously Ken and Ryu in Street Fighter. If you guys grew up playing Street Fighter like I did, you'll know that they are definitely rivals. I was more of a Ken fan than a Ryu fan, but uh, that's because my friend always used Ryu. But very cool looking car, the Ford Transit. And we'll put that one down. Car number two is this one right here. And car number two looks like uh, M. Bison, and I think that's Guile, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember all the names exactly. You guys can correct me. Uh, I know that's M. Bison, I can't remember if that's Guile or not. Check, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, really cool looking though car, this one. This is the Mercedes Unibog, so we got a nice Unibog casting with it. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop this one open. There we go. And a Unibog with the real riders on there. Very, very nice. Loving this one. Then we go to the side, there's M. Bison with the Street Fighter on there. And a very cool looking car. You can see the Mercedes logo right on the front. Nice detail, nice detail. Very, very nice. I'm liking the Unibog. All right, all right, we'll put that one down. Next up, number three of five is the bread box. Check out the bread box, woo. Bread box has uh, Vega and, is that Chung Li? Vega and Chung Li? Uh, possibly, possibly. Uh, I'm trying to remember all my Street Fighter character names as I grew up. There we go. And let's have a look. This one is the bread box. There is the bread box on there. The detail on these is just awesome. I love the paint work on there. Just, wow, they just did an amazing job on it. There is Chung Li, it looks like, on the bread box. And from the front, kind of an interesting looking front right there. Not my favorite of cars. We'll put that one down. We'll go on to car number four. And this one is Zangief. And I can't remember the name of this character. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Is that Chung Li? No, that's not Chung Li. I don't think so. Let me know in the comments down below if you know the character. Highway Hauler. There it is, Highway Hauler. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and open up Highway Hauler. I don't know how they came up with the specifics on which vehicles to choose. There is Highway Hauler and Highway Hauler. Again, real riders on there, like they all do. Blacked out Highway Hauler. And there is Zangief on that side. Wow. They did a great job on the detail work. It's too bad they didn't make character cars of these. That would be pretty neat. They had character car variations in the Street Fighter, but nonetheless, premium car set, looks really good. We'll put that one down, and last but not least, we've got the Honda Odyssey. Yeah, I don't know how they came up with the Honda Odyssey in this set. Uh, this is uh, Blanca, and oh, I can't remember. This is the guy with the long arms. I can't remember his name. Again, comment down below if you know his name uh, for car number five. There we go. Honda Odyssey. Let's go ahead, open up the Honda Odyssey. We'll take a look at that one right there. There is the Honda Odyssey with Blanca right there on the side. Street Fighter 
all nice and detailed. The real riders on there. Honda Odyssey, such a weird car to have as a Street Fighter car with these two tough guys on the sides of it. But nonetheless, good detail. Got the Honda logo right there. Great detail in the front as well. They did these ones right. They definitely did these cars right. So the artwork is really where they shine and the details on the car are really, really nice. Quick reminder, if you guys wanna pick up this five car set, make sure you check out grindedtoys.com. I will link them down below. All right guys, let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite car from this five car premium set. Also, help me solve the mystery of the characters that I don't know on a couple of the cars. Today, we're getting a close-up look at the brand new Hot Wheels Car Culture Street Tuner set. We'll start it off with car number one, which is the Nissan Silvia S15. And we can check out that really cool artwork on there. And as you can see, this is the Car Culture Street Tuner set. It is a Hot Wheels premium set. We'll look at the card on this one so we can see all the cars that are included with the set, which obviously we have here to open up and show you today. Let's go ahead and pop open the Nissan Silvia S15, our first car, and get a close up look at this one. This one is in a very nice pearl white looking color. I like the black spoiler, the blacked out wheels on there. Great detail from the front end right there. Really cool looking kit on it as well. And we look in the back, great detail, of course, with the call culture cars. And it's always got these real riders on there. All of these ones have those nice, really nice real riders. And I like these wheels as well. And car number two of five is the 95 Mazda RX-7 in yellow. I love my yellow colored cars. There it is just sitting right there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We'll get a nice look at this gorgeous looking yellow color and very interesting wheels. I like those wheels, they look really cool. They suit the RX-7 very nicely from the back. Great detail, great tampa work and from the side end as well. Really nice profile to this car from the front end. Again, very nice tamp work, and it's got a little bit of a lip spoiler on there. Looks really neat. And moving on to car number three of five is the 1996 Nissan 180SX Type X, blacked out. Great looking artwork on there as all of these do. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and have a look at it. And there it is in that black color. Really cool looking like orange wheels on there. It's kind of a nice touch. It's a good contrast with all the black. It's a very glossy black look to it. There's your back end with the nice tampa works for the light. We've got the little exhaust sticking out there. It's got that nice lip kit all the way around. Nothing too crazy. Very subtle, but still looks really nice. Nissan logo in the front end right there. And it's got the lights that are kind of sticking a little bit up, but not fully up but very, very nice detail to this one. And we move on to car number four of five, which is the Honda S2000. And this one has a hard top on there, which is really neat. Let's go ahead and pop this one open here and get a look at it. This one is featured in a silver color and I love silver colored vehicles because they really show the lines nicely of the vehicle that it's featuring. So we can see the front end, look at all the great detail work of that hood, the nice tampa work, the cool looking custom body kit on there, blacked out mesh wheels on there as well. Great big spoiler on it. Look at that detail on the back end, the Honda logo, the lights, the temp work, all that look fantastic on this casting. Like I said, silver just shows this casting very, very well. And car number 505 is the Pandem Subaru BRZ, the Pandem wide body kit on this one. I really, really like this one. I think the wide body kit is a great touch to the car culture series of the street tuners. Got the biggest kit you could find possibly. Check out the big wing on this one, big blacked out wing on there. Big wide body kit. We'll look at this from the top so we can see that Pandem wide body kit, which is featured on there. The spoiler on this one looks a little bit bent. Maybe we can just bend it back a little bit. There we go, we can fix it up. Great tampa work on the back end. Subaru logo right back there as well, as you can see. Nice little touch to that. I like these wheels. These wheels are really nice. Real riders, of course, as these all have. Check out that front end as well. Great looking detail. Love this Pandem wide body kit. This is one of my favorites of this set. Up, 
Geek Timers. Today we're going to unbox and get a close up look at 10 premium Hot Wheels including a Hot Wheels Boulevard set and a Fast and Furious set. Let's get unboxing. And we'll start it off with this bone shaker from the Hot Wheels Boulevard set, car number one. And this is a really neat looking bone shaker. And there's all the cars that are included on the back which we're going to open up today anyways. So let's get started and open up this bone shaker right here. And this one is fantastic looking as you can see. It's got a matte finish paint job on there with the chrome interior on there. Check out all the flame artwork on there on the side especially. It's very realistic looking flame work on the side of it. We've got the Real Rider tires on there, metal base. So it's a very, very good high quality car. And car number two from this set is the Nissan Skyline GTR BCN R33. As you can see right there, it's a very nice looking silver color with that cool looking artwork on there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice look at it. And as you can see right here, it's kind of like a glossy silver look and these wheels just look fantastic. They're like the perfect wheel that Hot Wheels has made and they work really well with all of the JDM imports and the Skyline and all that. And check out the detail from the front end. We've got some nice artwork on the hood right there as well. And then just on the back, it kind of follows right through there. And then on the very back end, you can see it's got the little Nismo symbol right on there. There's that big exhaust tip on there and then those circle tail lights. And let's go right around and see that front end again. Gorgeous looking Nissan Skyline. And car number three from this set is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. And this one is very, very heavy. It's got some good weight to it. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. It's the Magnus Walker sponsored one as well. And we'll take this one out right here and lots to look at on this one. So first it's got the outlaw right on the side. It's got a little 277, the T1 right there. There's the outlaw sign on there and the Magnus Walker. And check out the checkers on the top of it. That's so cool. I really, really like that look on there. And then it's got like the nice light blue that kind of meshes right around all the way to the back. And there's a little bit of writing and stuff on the back of it as well. And then we've got the full metal base, the red base right there. And it's just a very, very heavy casting, but I like that. I like the quality feel of it. Real Rider tires, of course. And car number four is the 1967 Chevrolet Camaro and a cool looking color on there. It's like a sparkly flake paint job on there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice close look at it there. And this one, it looks like the hood opens up on it, but let's go ahead and look at the car first and wow. I just like these like thick looking tires on there and the wheel combination looks fantastic. And especially that sparkly paint job on there looks really, really good. We've got the striper along the front with the looks like the little Camaro logo just up there. And let's go ahead and see what the open hood looks like. And boom, there it is right there. Okay, so we got the engine inside of there. It's kind of some cool detail. You can see even a little bit of the paint overspray there, but that almost looks kind of cool. I kind of like that because it almost looks like a, like a factory look for these old muscle cars. And there it is from the side with that all opened up on there with those thick rear tires and from the back, some nice detail on there as well. A really, really cool. I love this 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. And car number five from this Boulevard set is the 1983 Chevy Silverado 4x4. And there it is just sitting right there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice look at this one. This one also very, very heavy. It's got some good weight to it. And wow, look at these thick Real Rider tires on there. It's a nice raised up. You can see those axles just down below. Nice looking blue color, a very nice light blue with the white trim on the side of it. Good detail for the little Chevy logo and all that stuff just right down there. And from the front, it's, it's got like a push bar on the front end right there. And on the back, you can see it's got the Chevrolet logo right there. Just a cool looking good car. And it's like just the weight, the quality of this one is just absolutely fantastic. And car number one of five from our Fast and Furious set. This is the Motor City Muscle set. And we've got the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, one of the highlight cars from the set. Check it out. This is what Paul Walker drove in the first Fast and Furious when he was just kind of getting around around town. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and we can see some nice details on this one right here. And there it is. You can see just the cool looking writing and stuff on the side. I can't 
remember exactly what it says. It's very hard to see exactly what it says, but we can see the little lightning logo on there. It's got some nice thick real rider tires on their metal base all on the bottom, very glossy. You can see the Ford logo, the SVT logo just right there on the back of it as well. And from the front end, very nice. I like the stamped Tampa works for the headlights. Even it's got the little fog lights down there. A nice looking grill with the Ford symbol. This is a very nicely detailed car and it's definitely deserving to be in the premium line. And car number two from this set is the 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport. And it's a really cool looking sparkly green color. Nice artwork on there. Let's go ahead and take this one open and get a nice look at it here. And as you can see, just look at it shine in my lights. Very, very speckled flame paint job on there. And you can see the nice big striping on the side as well. And these wheels, these are cool looking wheels. They actually do fit the car very well. They're staggered, so we've got the big ones in the back, the small ones in the front right there. And we'll move around to the front end. You can see some great detail on the front chrome grille and all of that. And moving along to the back, you can see the headlights on the back right there as well. Chrome interior, very, very shiny and all around neat little muscle car. And car number three of five from this set is the 1987 Buick Grand National GNX. This is my personal favorite from this set. I really like the Grand Nationals and the GNXs. Very cool looking cars from the late 80s. Let's go ahead and open this one up right here. And there we go. We have the Buick Grand National. What I really like is they kept the fully blacked out kind of raw look to this one which we saw I think it was the fourth movie that they had this car at the beginning when it kind of went underneath the truck and it was just a really really cool scene but check out the detail from the front just looks absolutely fantastic like the Grand Nationals in real life love the grill like the headlights even got the little Grand National logo right there and then for the GNX it's got a little bit more flared fenders on there which the regular Grand National didn't have and we can see that just for this one right here as well. We've got the lip on the back spoiler and then we've got the little Grand National GNX logo just on the back right there and we can see those nice lights and everything just on the back. A really, really cool car, like I said. This is my favorite car from this Fast and Furious set. Love the Buick Grand National GNX. Next up is the 1966 Chevy Nova, number four of five from this set. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get that look at it here. And this one, it looks to be like a goldish color. It's like a metallic goldish color. And it does look like it's lowered and it's got some nice custom wheels on there. Those are definitely not a stock look, but it is all customized out with that lowered look on there and the speckled paint job. And you can see the nice white on the back. And we go around to the front and you can see that big grill on there. And this just looks like a fast, loud muscle car. Last but not least, we've got the 1961 Chevy Impala, and this one's in red, and this one is also lowered and customized out. Let's go ahead and open this one up right here, and as you can see, it's a nice glossy red look to it with that big white stripe down the side. It goes smaller in the front, goes all the way big to the rear. We've got some big, thick, real rider tires on the back right there, all metal base, of course, and check it out. That's the classic Impala look from the back. You can see that kind of line that comes down. We've got the six lights on the back of it as well, and a little spot for the license plate. And then from the front end, we've got the Chevrolet right written on the hood. Nice touch right there. We've got the Impala logo on the front and the double headlights on each side of it. The Chevy Impala, really cool looking car. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite set of these two that we unboxed and your favorite single car out of all the ones that I showed. What's up, Hot Wheelers? Today we've got a really cool pack for you. We've got the Hot Wheels Car Culture Hot Wheels Redliners, and these are real rider cars, and it's a fantastic set. They're, I love the real rider sets. They're really nice and weighted. They're detailed. They're very, very cool. So we've got cars number one, two, three, four, and four. Five, and we're gonna do an unboxing of them. We're gonna get a closer look at them. And then we're gonna head into our six lane racetrack and we're gonna put them down the track in a best of three race and we're gonna find out which one's the fastest. So let's start with car number one and we'll put all the cars aside right here so that we can open them up one by one. So I'll move these ones out of the way. 
There we go. And car number one, the Mercury Cougar from 1968. And great looking artwork on there. Looks like it's all drag race ready. And uh, there they are. There's all the drag cars right there. And all five of them I got as I've already showed you and we'll open them up right now. So let's start with car number one. Great packaging, great quality. You can definitely feel that these are premium Hot Wheels cars as opposed to the standard ones. Not that the standard ones are bad, the premium ones are just a lot more detailed and better. Uh, so metal bottom, uh, real rider wheels, or, or sorry, tires on there. And look at this beauty, 427 it says on there, on the side, gorgeous front end, very weighted, very heavy. Great detail to these ones. I love the real rider cars. Um, I love uh, all the car, car culture cars from Hot Wheels that they have. All these new series of car culture cars are just fantastic. All right, there's your Cougar. All right, next up, let's head on over. Car number two, we've got the 70 Dodge Charger RT. This one is just fantastic looking. Look at it jumping on the drag strip right there. Let's open this one up too. Again, great detail to it. The red, white, and blue color work on there. Look at the top of that too. Beautiful. Big engine sticking out there. And these are like slick tires on it as well. And even on the top, it's got some cool logo on there. Great looking car, fantastic. Uh, this is probably, this has gotta be one of my favorites out of this whole set. All right, we'll put that down. Let's go into car number three. We've got the 68 Copo Camaro. It gets better guys, it just gets better. <laughs> All right, let's open this one up. Get that Copo Camaro out of there. Gorgeous blue color. I might even change my mind. This might be my favorite one. They're just, they're, these. this whole set's just fantastic, guys. I just I absolutely love it. Look at that nice front end. Those great wheels on there. Nice striping. The spoiler. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, car number four. We've got the 1955 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Bad Gasser, I think this might be a, mocked after a real car, I'm not 100% sure. Um, you Drag Race fans can put in comments down below, let me know. All right, let's open this one up. Ooh, look at the big fat tires on the back of this one. And look at that, I, lo I love that, that look of raised front. It looks like it's just like just going right now and just huge fat slicks on the back of this one too. Man, uh, put your bets in now on which one's gonna win. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I think every one of these cars has a great chance of winning down our drag track. Bad gasser. All right, last but not least, car number five. The 69 Corvette Racer. Look at that gorgeous car. I'm a huge Corvette fan, so this one is just fantastic. All right, look at that yellow color, yellow mags and the, those slick tires on there. And it's got the roll cage, number 25. Great looking Corvette. Gorgeous all around, very weighted, like all the cars in this set. Fantastic, all right, let's pick them all up one by one like to, I like to do with these sets now. It looks, looks cool, you get them all close up, all together. There they all are. Uh, so put your comments down below on which one you think's gonna win 
and then we'll head on over to the track and we'll find out the winner. All right, guys, let's do it. I'll see you at the track. All right, guys, we're at the track and we've got all the red liners lined up and ready to roll. We've randomized the order and it's a best of three format. We've got them going down our six lane raceway. We've got slow motion camera in the middle and we've got a camera at the end to capture the finish line of them. So here we go. Race number one. On your mark, get set, go! Ooh, look at the Corvette. It can't even make it down the track. Um, it's a combination of it maybe being too thick or too wide, um, or it's just the wheels. So let's, let's put it in a different lane here. We'll see if it goes down this way. Oh. Oh, slowly, slowly can't make it all the way. And actually, if we notice, the Chevy as well couldn't make it down the track. It, those real wider wheels, you never know with them. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But let's see the finish line. And your race winner was the Mercury Cougar. It was very close between those three cars, and who knows if the Corvette and the Chevy can even make it down the track in race number two. So let's see what happens. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go! Corvette gets stuck halfway, made it at least farther than it did in the first race though. The Chevy just barely gets to the finish line but can't get through. And it's the Mercury Cougar that takes the light in race number two to beat out all the cars. So it is our official winner of this series set. Uh, unfortunately, real rider cars are just not very fast on the track. Those rubber wheels are just not made to go racing. Even though these are drag racing cars, if they had the actual plastic wheels on them, they would be a lot. What's up, big timers? Today, we're going to unbox and get a close up look at the brand new Fast and Furious premium five car set. This video has been brought to you by granatoys.com. Granatoys is the one that supplied this premium five car set. And if you guys wanna pick up your own, make sure you check out the links in the description down below. On the back of each card, you'll see the actual main car in the top left corner and then the other four remaining cars. Car number one is the Nissan Skyline GTR BN R34. Car number two of five is the Nissan Silvia S15. Car number three of five is the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. Car number four of five, my personal favorite of this set, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP570-4 Superleggera. And last but not least, car number five of five, the Nissan Skyline GTR BN R32.
Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite car from this five car set. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.